All right, uh, let's look at the homework 2.4, uh, problem number seven. All right, so it, let's uh, write a proof uh, for a limit of um, x squared minus two as x approaches negative three is equal to seven. All right, All right so here's our uh, scratch work. So I'm gonna do a scratch uh, work here. All right, so what we need to show is that the for all epsilon uh, greater than zero, uh, there exists some uh, delta positive such that as long as uh, x, uh, uh, the distance between x and uh, negative three, all right, is between zero and uh, delta, this ensures, uh, guarantees that the distance between a uh, function, which is x squared minus two, and the limit value, which is seven, is less than epsilon, all right? So that's what we need to uh, prove, all right? So I'm gonna start with uh, this condition. All right, so this is um, uh, equivalent to um, uh, x squared, minus nine, right, is less than epsilon, right? And uh, we can factor it out as uh, x uh, uh, a plus uh, a minus three and uh, x uh, plus three, right? Is less than epsilon, it's just a uh, factored out version. And uh, here, uh, this actually, this guy is same as uh, x plus three, right? So. We like uh, we like to keep this guy, all right? So uh, what we get is uh, so this is equivalent to oops. This is equivalent to um, uh, x absolute value of x plus three is less than epsilon over x minus three, right? Then what we want to do is uh, we're going to make an assumption. We assume that uh, delta is less than or equal to one, right? Which means that uh, we know that uh, uh, x plus three is definitely less than or equal to one, right? Or it's actually maybe I'll, I'll do a less than one, right? Which is equivalent to all right, uh, negative one, uh, so x plus three is um, uh, between negative one and a positive one. And, but we know something, we wanna know something of x minus three. So I'm gonna subtract uh, uh, six from both sides. So it's a negative seven, uh, x minus three, and a negative five, all right? And this tells you that uh, absolute value of x uh, minus three is going to be less than seven, All right? So from there, uh, we can compare this guy. Let's see, so this guy is going to be, uh, if you compare epsilon over uh, x minus three, and I'm gonna replace that by seven, All right? So we know that the here, uh, seven is a larger number, so you have a bigger denominator, so it's a smaller fraction, right? So uh, we have this inequality here. All right, so I think we're ready uh, to, um, uh, to uh, uh, write the proof here. So this is going to be uh, expression for uh, delta, all right? So we say uh, for all epsilon, epsilon greater than zero, right? Uh, so this is a, the start of the proof, All right? And uh, there exists a corresponding delta value, which is going to be the smaller value of either one or epsilon over seven. All right, so this is definitely a positive quantity. Right, uh, such that 
right so let's start with the condition so we know that the between x and uh, negative 3 is going to be between uh, delta and uh, 0 right but the delta is uh, since this is equal to minimum of uh, 1 and epsilon over 7 which implies that uh, uh, two things right so we know that the this quantity which is uh, x plus 3 is less than 1 at the same time x plus 3 is less than epsilon over 7 right then here uh, on top uh, this implies that uh, uh, x plus 3 is between negative 1 and the positive 1 then we can subtract th 6 to say negative 6 is less than x minus 3 uh, less than negative 5 and which implies that the uh, absolute value of x minus 3 should be less than 7 right so once you've got that we know that the, since the 7 is bigger than uh, uh, absolute value x minus 3 so this guy is smaller than epsilon over x minus 3 right so I'm using this guy to get this uh, inequality because uh, we're replacing by a smaller denominator so it gets larger right but from here uh, this inequality implies that by multiply by absolute value of x minus 3 we get uh, x minus 3 times x plus 3 is less than epsilon and if you multiply out you get uh, x squared minus 9 is less than epsilon and which implies that uh, x squared minus 2 minus 7 is less than epsilon right then we're done this is exactly what we wanted to say All right so let's uh, go back and uh, I'll put it in the here right for given epsilon uh, we need uh, delta to be uh, less than uh, greater than 0 such that uh, we have that and this is going to be less than epsilon so that's just a definition all right so we simply we need uh, x squared let's listen right whenever you have that and uh, notice that the if uh, x plus 3 less than that uh, you have so this is going to be less than 7 and uh, so take uh, delta to be minimum of 1 and uh, epsilon over 7 and then we have all that stuff and uh, this is just multiply out so it's going to be epsilon by the definition the limit is going to be 7 all right so let's uh, submit for testing all right I came back and it looks like uh, we got uh, all these guys correctly all right that's it I hope that uh, this was clear.